So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get these two hidden armor sets. Now, both are pretty good, I'm not going to lie. Both are worth your time getting them, but there is a dungeon, like a puzzle you have to solve more or less, uh, which I will guide you through today. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so these two armor sets looking pretty amazing. Now they're obtained from a place called the Galmir Heroes Grave, which is a dungeon with a bus at the end. The bus at the end, we actually don't have to fight to get these. There's a kind of mini bus who's easy to take out. Uh, upon taking him out, you get one set. And then you also can pick up another set from behind him. The other set behind him, you can probably run in and grab without fighting this boss. But I'll leave that to you. This place is also home to tons, guys. And I mean tons of other like little hidden collectibles and things like that. So it's definitely worth your time coming here. So we have the two armor sets which we're covering today. The Gelmir and the Bloodhand. So that's what we're going to do, people. So from on this position on the map right here, because i like to actually showcase to you how you get to said spots before we actually go into them. Um, so we are here, the bridge of iniquity. So you want to come down here. Come on, oh, this is the actual the farming. Well, not the farming spot. That's the farming spot with the women. If you've done that, so you just follow the path around. It's quite straightforward, to be honest. Go this way, underneath the bridge. Just come all the way down here. You'll see this bridge here where I am at, which is top of the map, by the way, guys. So you have to have uh, got this far up to even consider this. So the bridge I am at right here. You can see there. So that's the bridge. So once you get here, guys, this is what you got to do. Now, you want to obviously activate that grace. And I'm hoping I don't die here because I've been farming for hours. I farmed literally eight hours straight yesterday to get enough uh, points to put by the um, the Comet Azur, which I've done. I've got. I'm happy. But it took over a million runes and I literally did it for hours, guys. Obviously, I was making videos at the same time. So you want to follow the path I'm coming now. Now, here you have to be quick. You want to jump off your horse and run up this ladder as quick as possible because these dudes that are behind you, well, come and take your ass away. They will take your ass away. So, yeah. And you can see the damage they do. You have to be careful. You could probably kite them away. Um, so, take them over that side. Once you're up here, though, they can't come and get you. But you could probably kite them away first. So, go onto your horse, go over my left shoulder that way, kite them over there and quickly run across here. But that's probably... That's your hardest part. <laughs> That's probably the hardest part of this whole thing. And I probably should take a potion here. It makes sense. It would make sense. Now, this ladder is pretty high. But well, once you get to the top, guys, and whatever you do, don't hold. I don't know what actually button it is, but it's a button you can hold and you slide all the way back down. You don't want to be doing that. You don't want to be doing that. Okay, so once we get here, guys, you simply want to head this direction. So let me pull back out my horse. Now, there's a few wolves on the floor, but you can run past these easily. So just keep coming this way. Ignore these dudes. Ignore these dudes. Just keep coming this way. Grab these while we're here. Why not? Know what I mean, people? Grab them. Just keep coming around here. Just keep coming around. And uh, yeah, there we go. You hear the wolves now. Here are the wolves. There we go. Okay, I'm jumping, falling out the sky and shit. Just keep coming around here. You see this. Big pretty building on your left hand side and simply just go inside of here and there's a lift there's a lift so then guys we take it down we take the lift down now there's a grace down here um, which you obviously you obviously want to be grabbing <laughs> you need, it, need this in your life So yeah, once you land at the bottom, guys, you want to activate the grace, which is here. Which is here. Okay, so from here, this is what you want to do. Now, this is footage I've pre-recorded, but I've walked you through it anyway, uh, which you're seeing on screen now. Um, so yeah, what you need to do, guys, here is, like I said, go left down here. I didn't say that, but yeah, go left down here. And you'll come and you'll see this is a crazy puzzle. There's like chariots that will roll, steamroll your ass and crush you. So do as I do. You obviously don't want to be over encumbered too heavy. You want to be able to move quick. So take out these and 
preferably take him out before that comes up so I don't the path of it so it kills them then as quickly as it goes up it goes to the top run past them and here guys you can just run straight down if you're light enough otherwise take that thing on your right I'm just about right enough to get past I can see it just went down there but if you're not if you're not light enough and not quick enough um going to that path for there where like that like uh space where that the skeleton with the ball was so then when it goes back up guys just run down go in here on your right hand side so up on here I mean, you can take out this skeleton, he's a bit of a pain in the ass, so I would take him out. He, like, he was killing me like three or four times, he was killing me. And this guy, this guy, sometimes, this chariot here, will spin on the spot. So they can spin on the spot right next to you, so don't be, don't be fooled. But just wait for it to run, go down, and then you just want to jump to your left here. Avoid the fire, it won't kill you straight away, but avoid the fire. Here, guys, on your left-hand side, there's a guy that will jump out and kill you. He's, they're powerful. Couple hits on me at the time I was doing this, I was like a level 90 destroying me so yeah take him out don't worry about the other dudes there's a guy underneath these stairs here you want to take him out too you can see him shooting the, the fire bombs fire arrows take him out too guys do what you gotta do do what you gotta do now now here you want to stealth up the stairs stealth up these stairs and take out this guy take him out kick his ass people kick his ass there we go now this fire you can, if you've got a crossbow on you, a bow and arrow on you, you can stand back and shoot the pillar it's coming out of, and it goes down and stops. But I just run past it. Just time it and run past it. There's also a room there on your right-hand side with a couple of collectibles in there if you want to go and grab them. And there's also, guys, uh, if you don't go, because we've got to go down there. If you go the other way at the very top, there is something you can collect as well. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, this is about the puzzle anyway. So down here, guys, you just want to run into this space. Now here, like you'll see, kick his ass. I'm pretty sure here, this actual chariot spins on the spot when it comes back up, but just be careful about it. Just be careful about it. So here, guys, you want to look, you, you, you'll see where I go. You'll see where I go. So if you're lucky and you can see just down there on the platform, there's a few of those messages. Not the one to my right, down to that left. You can see down that gap. That's where you want to go. So you want to run and just jump down here. Just jump down here, people. Jump down here. Collect this. And now, guys, we're at the bus, or the mini bus, where you get these two sets of armor. And it is this simple. It is this simple. So you want to take this guy out. And like I said, he ain't too hard whatsoever. You'll see he'll drop you an armor set. And there's one there leading up that tomb, that coffin, which you can also get, you can see, is relatively straightforward. Three blows, and he's done. And you'll see here you get the one set the blood hand which is pretty cool looking and the one leading up the, the coffin is the gilmere okay so if you want to progress onto the actual um main boss of this place this is what you gotta do so directly opposite the tomb there is a ladder which you need to climb up so you want to climb up the ladder guys and do as i do keep going up and then you need to jump out onto this kind of platform here then guys you need to walk to the middle and we need to land on top of that chariot you can see there's nothing on it just jump down simple as that it is really that simple at the bottom guys you want to be facing left so look left with your camera see i'm looking right here but look left it will spin around making you look right and then jump off and there you go grab this bit of bees blood then climb up this uh, ladder and you're basically at the end. You're basically at the boss fight. At this actual main place. Now the boss, he hits hard, but he's also easy to kill. Now his main attack, he dart, he like darts at you. Uh, but to be honest, he killed me about two or three times. I got him down, pulled out my wolves, and he was done for. Now, like I said, the, if you die, he can spawn at America, which is basically this place here. You'll spawn right outside of his boss battle, so you're good. But yeah. Um, I'll leave you to watch the boss battle now on screen if you want to see that. Now I killed him, so use my wolves, the level 3 wolves I think they are. Summoned them in and took him out. For killing this dude you get the Bloodhound and Nightflow and you also get a Death Root, which we all know what we do with those. But there we have it people. But yeah guys, that is it for another video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.